Hello everyone and welcome to Dragon Cast. This is episode 22. I'm your host today. This is Tosh, um, staff member and coach of Rugrats. And with me we have... Uh, I'm, <laughs> and I'm Kaya. Yep, so y'all got three of us here today. Um, and first off we want to get into it is um, T.O.P. Enemy. Yeah, so I want to congratulate... Um... Uh, uh, Alliance. Oh, that's it. Yeah, sorry. Oh, Alliance for uh, winning the winning the whole thing for this year. I'm really happy they won, and it's really cool to see them uh, do well. And I know, like I know, it's um, you know, also who, who uh, you know, it's also really fun to watch. And I hope you guys um enjoy it and like. And uh, if you guys actually make sure you actually fill the survey for the TOP event, so make sure we get through, you can get uh, your ideas and hopefully uh, and put them into the next duration of TOP for next year. So. Yep, and just for those who didn't know, um, Unholy Alliance they had uh, Baby Vegeta, Janemba, and Doctor Jarrell, and I think this is the second time that Jarrell actually got a win under his belt. Unfortunately, he cannot do that in the main league. <laughs> well, no, I see. I heard that because of that win, Donut is seriously considering him for the team, we sure and that he that. he he loves Doctor Jero now. You you can quote me on that. That Donut loves Doctor Jero. <laughs> All right, so I'm and, the new and... president of uh, what is it? Of the Jero Hate Fan Club. Um, as we can tell, Donut has turned over a new leaf. Y'all heard it here today. Kyle is the witness. We know it's completely true. Do not listen to what Donut has to say. It's set in stone. 100%. <laughs> well, uh, mm -hmm. But yeah. Uh, yes, uh, moving on from the TOP, we have some events starting up for the main season. Uh, for, well, technically, uh, the off season, our last event is going to be called the Dragon Trials. Uh, for anyone who doesn't know, the Dragon Trials are an evolved form of the gauntlet that we used to run with uh, some key differences, which are that the top three teams of the previous seasons build rounds for one through three, which are uh, the Royals, the Hybrids, and the Boos, or Boo Saga, sorry. Um, staff still builds round four. And the Kais will face all four rounds, regardless of winning or losing. Um, so like we said, Last, the top three teams of last season will build three of the rounds. So that'll be Boo Saga building round one, uh, Hybrids round two, and the Royals round three. Yep. And with this year, um, the first teams that we at least, because builds recently got um, published for the teams, for those top three teams that made builds for them, we have the final bout, which includes Scouter Vegeta, First, uh, final form Frieza, Semi Perfect Cell, and Kid Buu. Then we got Team Fusion, and Goku and N Vegeta, and then Super Saiyan 4 Goku and Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta. I'm actually curious on. I, I, actually, I think it's only Super Vegeta that can pop up, and of course Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. So that would be definitely fun to look at. And then the last team we got is Unbound, the Unbound, which is Semi Perfect Cell making a second appearance in um in the Gauntlet. Um, for our Dragon Charles, uh, Super Saiyan or Legendary Super Saiyan um, Broly, Full Power Bojack, Super Saiyan um, Gohan, and we have Android 13. So, Super Saiyan 2 Gohan. Yeah, Super. Oh, yeah, Super Saiyan 2. Sorry, Bill says otherwise, but yeah, Super Saiyan 2 Gohan. <laughs> so yeah, now nah, we're definitely going to be in for a treat with these and see how the Kai's can actually handle. Uh, everything going up. See who gets the farthest. Also, uh, I believe I forgot to mention it. This will be set over two weeks. The first one taking place on May 4th, and then the uh, second week on May 11th. Yep. Um, just so you guys are aware that teams, if I recall, and um, if if something changes, I'm, uh, we'll correct. I'll correct myself and everything, let you guys know. But I'm pretty sure that uh, it still works the same way as regular uh, as the old gauntlet where you can change up your lineup per round and of course builds if you like to so we may see a whole bunch of different combinations out there 
may not be the same for each round. So good luck to all the guys and we'll see how that goes. Yeah. And uh, if you want more information about the specifics and that type of stuff, you can check in the uh, DBZL announcements. It was posted back on the 8th of April. There's a handy link there with all the information in a really nice and easy to read format. Yep. And so next we have on the agenda here is um, going into the free agents that were picked up. So in the last Dragon Cast, I believe we already talked about the trades and loans that happened between teams um, during the offseason and everything. And recently, I want to say about um, a few, a couple of weeks ago or a few weeks ago, we recently had the ad drop um, happen where official like uh, teams officially put out their base rosters. Um, and we had seasonal bidding not too long after that. So going down the list, we have Androids with Ginyu as their free agent. We have Budokai with Raditz, Busago with Kui, Cinema with Vegito, got that double fusion going on there. You got Cold Kingdom with Devilman. They got tired of <laughs> people trying to use Devilman against their team, so they decided to take them on for themselves. You got Dirt with uh, Android 21. Um, then you got ED, Earth Defenders with Jace. GT is with Imperfect Cell, so uh, that's going to be interesting to see there. You got Hybrids, kind of going back to their um, roots with Adult Gohan. Uh, trying to bring back old Gohans there. Now it's Gohan, so of course still plus Trunks. Then you got Grandpa Gohan on Muscle. I think this is the second time being on Muscle um, during this version of the league. You got Namek with a pool, Rugrats. Rugrats has um, Oob. Uh, Royals got Bobbity, um, RW. Hold on. Actually, I think this got mixed up because. I, RW, I don't know who RW got. I gotta double check on that. Um, because it says E, but that is incorrect. Um, and then Sentai, Sentai got Zengaya. I think RW ended up with Roshi. Probably. Yeah, that's... mixed up with it. Okay. So if that's the case, then yeah. Um, so then RW probably got, got Roshi then, if that's the case. Probably get, just got mixed up on the two there. But those are our, um, those are the free agents that you will be seeing next season for each team. Uh, <laughs> it'll be definitely interesting to see how this goes. Um, just yeah. before we move on real quick, which team do you think is scary and like with their, with their free agent, like who do you think is going to go far with, um, with their pick so far for both y'all? Royals. <laughs> Bob, Bobby's just gonna, just gonna take everyone down. I honestly feel like that's completely biased, and I know why. <laughs> Y'all are sleeping on Bobbity. He's 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 gonna he's gonna go elite. Yeah, yeah. Three the, times. The former Majin's coach and everything is definitely bringing up because yeah, you know that's his whole team. He got two he, people. He, heck, hey, hey, he went he went elite before. He'll do it again. Uh huh. Uh huh. And then what about you, Interview? Who do you think uh, may take the cake there? Or who's like the one to really look out for with a free agent pick? I mean, obviously it's got to be high risk because pay for uh, ultimate for to get the Zane to get Doug go on is kind of crazy. Now it's like, if they lost a Doug, but I mean, they lost a ultimate, but they got a Doug, which is really good. It's going to be scary. And hopefully they can, I don't know what, I don't know what form they picked. I think it was SSJ, I believe. I'm not sure. Um, I don't think that I don't think it's not set yet, but I mean it's gonna be really funny to see to see the old go on team again, plus Star Trunks, and um, also I'm kind of glad to see Ginyu get some love and Jace get some love because they actually got some good, good bidding war on those two, and I hope those two do well. So um, I'm really hope we're for those guys as well. <laughs> Honestly, I would say like for me, the one to probably look out for. I want to say, it's, of course, hybrids, I do agree with you on that. Um, but I would say it's either going to be with GT with Imperfect Cell or Cinema with Vegito. The Cinema mainly because I like Double Fusion, obviously. A fusion mechanic guy on Rugrats here. But they definitely, that's a strong team with 
all their high static characters. So we'll see if they'll be how how they pan out in the main season. And then with Emperor XL, just I know that I think they were originally going for Android Twenty One, but they got sniped by Dirt. And um, what is it? They had Android Twenty One looking really good, at least in the tests that I saw going against them, Rugrats vs GT. Um, and if they can get that same like same type of energy like that they had going for Android 21 on Imperfect Cell, I can see GC going far, <laughs> especially with the with the rest of their roster. So oh, yeah, yeah. Perfect's gonna be crazy, crazy. I know it's gonna be really fun to watch because he always like those those uh, energy suction the guys are gonna be hard to deal with. Yep. Yeah, so, you're, you're right. <laughs> yeah, y'all y'all are in for a good surprise. We got both imperfect and semi perfect so. <laughs> so this is definitely going to be a different season, and also we got to see how it's going to turn out because um, we don't know if uh, Android's going to let semi perfect cell transform if he's just going to stay in that form. And then you got Cold with all their transformations, starting with first form Frieza and uh, first form Cell. I mean, oh not Cell, um, Cooler. So, this season is definitely going to be different and interesting to watch. <laughs> yeah, it's 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 really uh, stepping up. And speaking of the main season, Anime, you want to talk to them about uh, what's next? The... So... Pre-season yeah, is going oh, to start... Oh, yeah, sorry. Uh, yeah. Preseason is going to start on May 18th, which means that builds will be due May 16th. So be sure to get your tests in while you still can and uh, get ready for the the opener of the, the preseason coming uh, less than a month now. Yep, yep. Um, just for any, I know a lot, we have a lot of people from the main league that's already been here. Um, Essentially, they already know what's going on for preseason, but just in case you're just a casual viewer or you're just new to the league, preseason is just basically the four, I think it's like one of the first four weeks of the third tri trimester or like the last like few weeks or whatever. And essentially, teams are still able to test out different things, um, see how their free agents may work on different builds or uh, with different combinations with no penalty to them. By week four, they had to choose um, which form, at least for their free agent, I believe. They had to choose which form their free agent is going to be in if they have that available to them. And also, who's going to, by the time you hit um, week four of preseason, you also have to choose who's going to uh, use the Broly's ring, if that's applicable to you. So, after that, you go into the main season. But, yeah. It's still testing grounds for teams each week um, during the preseason, and you get to see a glimpse of how how the main season may shape up to be. So, and so with that, I believe that is everything just going down on our agenda. But I think it's I think it's time for us to uh, head on over to some Dragon Quest uh, Dragon Cast questions. Yep. So, uh, all right. Let's start off with Armed Rose. Over the years, the League has both modded pre-existing characters and replaced some characters with completely new ones. At what point do you think further modding will be unnecessary for the League? Uh, kind of impossible question to really answer because modding kind of helps keep things a little fresh and I feel like there's always some new tech that always gets found that potentially could be problematic that we have to look at. Oh yeah. I get, I'll make it simple. Never. Yeah, probably. <laughs> most likely probably never. I mean, there'll be there might be some periods where it's like quiet on the uh, testing on the on the modding front, but I don't, I don't think we can ever really say we're, we're never going to mod anything ever again. I definitely I agree be on that because there are different characters like Personally, for me, I will always love to see us like adding new characters, like to support like different teams and everything like that, or new maps, or even um, there's like that mechanic that was in BT4 that I kind of liked. Um, I think it was some other form of clash that they had going on there, um, but that was exclusive to BT4. 
that I kind of liked how they did that. Of course, it could be like some tweaking, but like, you know, if we ever brought that over, that would be great to see. Just like how Kaya saw it, it's more so to keep things fresh. So if we're ever sticking with BT3, I don't see a point for us to like, to just stop. Yeah, I mean, if you, if you stop it, it'll stagnate the league and then the league will be, you know, then people will leave because the league stagnated and nothing, there's no, nothing exciting. It's boring and repetitive. So, keep it fresh a little bit, you know? Yep, yep. Ready? I think that's that's good for that one. Moving on to Dorgard. Uh, his first question. What's the progress of rec of recreating some intro content for new viewers? As is, there is a lot of, a lot of take in on day one and having some videos on builds, batars, and other basic properties would help when new people join the league. Um, I think I think we've talked about that. I know Squee had some old videos. Um, yeah. So I, mean, we, we, I I do remember I do remember that that we did discuss that for trying to do that here. Unfortunately, I think it fell through because either lives just got too busy and other things came up for the people that we had set up for. We we were also so busy with testing for um between Frost and some of the old league stuff we 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 were hands are pretty full uh we'll probably look into it again um while it's a lot of information that we all know it's just compile compiling all that into a concise but ingestible video that we we got to play around with it so um Technically, it's in progress and we're working on it, but uh, when it would be coming out, we I, I don't have a date. Yeah, yeah and also I know we had grand plans of doing like that and move sets as well, you know, for every character. Mm -hmm. <laughs> plans do it, but we never like ever said it. we got busy, so never went through. <laughs> so, uh, soon trademark. Um, next question from Dorgard. Uh, with the T.O.P. coming to a close, what characters stand out as being better with the increased uh, health? Or what characters do better when having access to more premium Patars when the team only has three instead of five out of six? Um, Tapion really stood out. I thought. As, uh, I, I, yeah, I think both with a mixture of having the extra health so he was out a little longer. And with the extra health bar having all the uh, the scaling Pataras, he got even more dangerous by the time he was on his last bar. Um, so I think I think he stood out pretty well. I would say, of and... course, Jero definitely always stands out. He needs the extra health. Um, yeah. But outside of that, maybe like I would say maybe Zengaya. I remember, and I could be wrong, yeah. but Zengaya really, if I recall, really popped off this TLP season, which is great to see, but I, that doesn't always translate to the main league. Like, she may do, like, decent or, like, average and everything like that, but it's never to that extent of how, especially, I think, how she played out in the semifinals for um, TLP and even in the finals. So that may, that may have been more the AI itself and the health or that kind of stuff, but she... She made some great moves. Like I remember, there was one where she like she stunned, did a ton of damage. Like she was actually using her stuns really well. Oh yeah. I mean, I, I think uh, obviously a lot of like a lot of the um, Sima characters did well. I mean, Fasha did really well this year. I mean, she was like standing out the probably the most like high like I think she was like one like ninety like eighty seventy eighty k character like for like weeks and weeks of, like for most of the year. Um, Jane did really well too. She, he was doing really well. Um, who else? Drow is a really good character. Uh, Deborah. I'm just really good characters out there that do well. Yeah. Oh. Uh, uh, no. Can you? I don't understand. Can you? Damn it. Can you can do well. I, I, you did well. Then in my season, for one year, you did well, but like, they couldn't carry us. So. Nah, I, I gotcha. Uh, yeah, I think I think those those cover. I'm sure there are others that we're forgetting. Um, but Pons. I was 
I, I was I was out of the country for a couple of the weeks and it, it but those those ones stood out. Uh Cyberman also did pretty decent too. With having the extra health and... it's, it's Cyberman. Like, come on. It's Cyberman. He's, yeah, he's, the he's best just of that us. good. He's he, he was the kid blue killer. He's the Broly what is it, Ryan Downtown the Broly Destroyer or something? Cyberman surprises people. I, I'm not surprised yeah. by him doing well yeah, with COP. I, I agree with you. Um moving on to Snuffy Sam. Now that we've got a few trailers, thoughts and hopes for Sparking Zero, roster, features, etc., both in terms of things we've had revealed and things that have yet to be revealed. Um so my thoughts, very happy with how it looks. Uh it looks very uh what's the word? Uh very much inspired by uh our our T you know our, our BT3 game and it does feel like a another entry in the series which I'm very happy about um still obviously hoping for com v com to be announced and some sort of Patara customization but I am I, I I'm anxiously optimistic I'm, I'm not saying we're swept into it I'm not going to assume that we will but I I I have more hope than um, when it was first announced, we'll say. I'm also I was the music as well for it because I was happy when I remember when Xenoverse came out for the first one. I was like happy, like oh, got a new game, you know, we can do so well. Didn't have anything we needed, you know, for CPU versus CPU customization and like that. So I am very like I said, I hope we have it, but like I don't know. Well, I'm I'm waiting to see honestly, one of those things. I mean, you hope it, but you never know, so. Um, I'm very optimistic, um, kind of echoing everyone else here. Um, so far, everything seems great for the most part. Of course, they need to, I think some people pointed out there was like some things with the graphics that may need to be, like, may need to be, like, fine-tuned or whatever. But outside of that, so far, the mechanics seem pretty well. I like the, um, the direction that they're taking it, and that it looks like they're also taking things from just not BT3, but also like Rage and Blast 2, and everything with the whole, um, what is it, knocking away supers and everything like that, but it costs, now it costs Blast Stocks, I think in RGB, um, Rage and Blast 2, I don't, I think you could just do it for free at any point and everything. It looked really so, cool though, when, when he slapped that, uh, oh yeah. <laughs> it, it, was that a Final Flash or a Gallic Gun that he, that he slapped away, that was, I think it was like was a awesome. Gallic Gun, something like that, but, and then the whole, um, the Clash, like the actual beam clash how it takes you yes. into that um that alternate dimension that you saw broly and gogeta fighting in like that was actually not that bad at all um in regards to the second part of the question was what is i believe it was what um other hopes what? and everything for characters yeah something like that um honestly features like, roster I, I don't know, like, cause like obviously you're gonna have. They, I think recently we just saw a scan where they had they showed Videl and um, I think Adult Gohan and everything. So obviously you know you're gonna have everyone from the Boo Saga, but like outside of the obvious picks and everything, I want to say maybe like lesser known characters from maybe like the Namekians from Universe, I think Universe Six or. Um, there's like this, um, this one person from, I think it was Universe, whichever universe the, that rat, the rat got her destruction was from. I think it was like some like short little kid or something like that. Um, he fought Roshi in the Tournament of Power. Um, there's like little characters what? like that, that obscure. Hmm? Like, uh, like the obscure, like weird Yeah, yeah or like Lavender and, um, Basil. From, uh, what is it, Universe 9, I think it was, one of the dogs. They already showed Bergamo, so why not show his I, brothers, too? I, I'm still shocked that we got the, the friggin' the, the furry. <laughs> also, I think, well, it's only fair, because I think, then they show, did they ever show Grade 8 Scouter? I don't, I don't remember, know. in all honesty. Like, if they did, like, that's great, like, also, I'm really wondering if they're gonna, if they're gonna actually throw in 
movie specific characters like certain forms like I think we talked about this before and they also um our um community has been talking about this like where it was like Bardock will Bardock actually have a Ozaru form or will it go that straight into Super Saiyan or both or or will they grab the Super Saiyan 3 form that he got in Heroes that too he got it in Heroes and I well yeah I think it was just Heroes because I don't think they did that in Xenoverse they probably did so. they've done everything in Xenoverse but, but yeah like also I would love to see hero content like not gonna lie I would love to see hero content because it's how popular it is in Japan and everything if, I, I would love to see uh, super manga content super manga oh uh, yeah yeah oh. Like, like 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 stuff from like Moro <laughs> granola stuff we, that we, hasn't we need, been we need gas we need oh Anthony will appreciate this we need the heaters <laughs> yeah we need all the heaters here so, stuff like that yeah no that would be great it's like they need they need to like i think monopolize on the different characters that they can get or that is popular like, heck this is my last note on it but it's like you know even like characters from like the gacha games like one of the main staples from um what is it legends dragon ball legends is shallot his brother and then he has the twin brother giblet or whatever right but more like, importantly android 21 well, Android 21, obviously, she's going to be on there. This, this She has done many crossovers between gacha games and just regular games. I wouldn't be shocked if she if she's not in there. So, like, yeah, like, I feel like they can take advantage of this and they can, this could be, like, one of the best games ever with a huge roster spanning over all their different games and different content. They could make that work. The question is, will they do it? Because... They have a gold mine that they're sitting on. Do they take advantage of it? <laughs> right, they they have plenty to pick from. Yes. All right, I'm done ranting. Okay. Uh, enemy, anything else from you? I'm good. Alrighty, then. Uh, yeah. So yes, we we just like everyone else, we are all very excited for this game and the possibilities that come along with it. And uh, to kind of continue that will go to another question from Dorkard. What new teams would you like to add to the league with the potential roster of Sparking Zero? Don't worry about current teams. Uh, I I would say I'm not looking forward to this because <laughs> I hate Master Lewis stuff. Uh, but no, real, real, real answer. Um, I would love even now like i would love to see what a new cinema team would look like because if we get stuff from superhero that would be awesome we i mean they, mm -hmm. they would already get um dragon ball super broly also that with dragon ball super broly we already seen super saiyan guy go um vegeta he counts because he made that, his first that appearance was the first in that movie Yes, and then Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Gogeta. Mm -hmm. um, technically, base Gogeta would also count. Yes, I, bro. I'm going to say this. I wanted base... Like, if that's one character that we could add, like, through BT3, I would actually love to add in a base Gogeta. Like, and if we have that, that would be great, because... Hey, they can just do that. Just do it. Now, now they got me opening up uh, my gotcha game to so see, because <laughs> I could, I can't think of a team like. Um, yeah, like, if I, they... I would love to see. Oh, new Sentai because with all the top, yeah, uh, Pride Troopers and that kind of stuff, I would love to see what a a, a Sentai with a expanded roster would look like. I mean, I'd love I to see there's a t there's a team without like any that's not ED or like you know or. Or uh, Budokai already, you know, never like rehash that. I would hate that. <laughs> Anything except for that, man. I mean, see, maybe like a. I don't know. I mean, there's a lot of good, a lot of good teams with that. I'm not sure what I really think of. Like a good team out there, you know, that might, might, uh. Good idea. I went a lot. I thought of one like a while back, but I kind of forgot about it, honestly. To wrote it down. Oh, yeah. 
I definitely would say, like, of course I would love just, like, have a Team Fusion kind of deal. I know that's essentially kind of like just Boo Saga at this point because that's where all the fusions really happen. But, like, like... Well, you still got Gogeta. Huh? Well, that, that wouldn't have Gogeta. That wouldn't have I Super would, Saiyan God, uh -huh. Super Saiyan Vegito. I mean, techni have. technically, if you think of Fusion Reborn, technically happened within the Boo Saga. Think about no. it. No. You think of like Team Kami, oh. they only really have all the gods in it. Or like, there's... see, see, now, now we're starting getting into why I hate Masterless discussion. <laughs> and there's also like little things like in like um like Dokkan, they have like different things where it's like um I think it was like ex one of the categories like exploding rage or something like that. That can be like yeah. Gohan, Goku, like when he first like mid Goku, different like Bronx. people like that. Like, yeah, you know, uh, time travelers that can definitely be one too. Cause that's not everyone, but that's a good category to look at. That's a fun one, yeah. So yeah, so I mean, it obviously it'll depend on what the final roster looks like, but we we're getting a good, um, a nice varied selection from what they've already shown us. I feel. Yo, we need to add something Dragon Ball Seekers, and we need to add in Oolong on there. Oolong has to be on the team. He's a staple. Right. Like how Derp used to have to have a hurt. So there. Sport forced to be on, but we will mod him <laughs> to be uh, extremely broken. <laughs> yes. He, yes. he will loop, and that will actually be a design. His, his ultimate attack is transforming into a bull mode. Right. No, his ultimate, his ultimate attack. No, and he has a stun B one where he pulls out the, uh, where he wishes for panties and it stuns <laughs> the people like a uh, solar flare. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's do it. Uh, yeah. Uh. I think that, that, I think yeah, that, that might cover that. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Gonna gonna end that there on that note because that's very <laughs> me. Um. Next. I'm, a, I'm next ignoring slew. Carrick. I'm sorry, I already read the question. I'm, I'm ignoring it. Well, yeah, next questions from, are from Carrick. Uh, Toshiro has been muted this entire time, so we'll, we'll yeah, do totally. a... Can you do a quick mic check to make sure no one is muted? Um, mm -hmm. The first real question. Now that bidding is over, was there anything that surprised you during FA bidding? This question can also be applied for add and drop two. Uh, uh, yes. PyCon and Tapion. Not getting picked up. Also, Dirt... Derp and Nan first off, Derp picking up Android 21 instead of someone else, and then Namek going for a pool and not a higher <laughs> FA. <laughs> Those are my main two surprises there in terms of FA bidding. Yeah, Derp, Derp going for 21 was also a uh, was a surprise. I worry about 21, you know, like I was hoping she get picked up in the use and you know, like. Hopefully it was like, you know, hopefully she could finish the whole season like last year. And uh, yeah, I was honestly surprised with the Ginyu, the Ginyu bidding wars and the Jewish bidding wars. Like I said earlier, it was kind of crazy. I'm, I'm kind of glad they got some love. All right, let's just be straight. Buzz just didn't have enough Zinni to create bid wars with everyone else. So that's, that's, that's why it was a I, lot more tamed this I, season. I would have given Buzz as much Zenny as he needed because I love the bid wars. Listen, it is one of my favorite things. On. He got his I ultimate was... Gohan, so he, I think he's good. <laughs> hoping that he would bit, that would bit up bit Buzz, honestly. I'm like hoping someone bit, bit him up. I'm like, please bit up Buzz. But no one did. I'm like, damn it. <laughs> he did it to me last year. I'm like, I to revenge, you know. Couldn't uh, bit against him. But okay. Yeah, uh, I think those were... Yeah, I don't the think there was, like, anything else. Like, in terms of ad drop, everything went kind of normal. I don't think I was really surprised by anything. For uh, because a lot of it I already talked with other teams regarding their pickups. Yeah, I got I gotta check. I think there was one that surprised me a little bit. It's been a bit though, so I gotta uh Oh Fidel getting make. dropped. Oh. Fid Fidel getting dropped was a little surprising. Like I get it, but um I got I guess but Del finding her home on Sentai was also a little... I get it, because Jace hasn't been doing as great. But I think other than that, nothing really... Yeah, I have... Shocked me. That's right, you got a Videl and Stay Woman on the same team. Like, it'd be weird, honestly. They're, they're a lot of word damage on that team right now. 
Dragon power, dragon power, dragon power. <laughs> I guess the only other thing is maybe that whole ED versus Derp, um, or ED and Derp with Hercule and Yamcha. That's the only other thing, but I, that was already like discussed when that trade happened like a while ago. Like that's the only thing that may have surprised me. But yeah. Mm -hmm. Alrighty. Going on from that. Uh, if you could add any modded character into the game and add it to any team, regardless of record, who would you add and what role would they fill in the team? Is there anything go on? <laughs> yeah, mod anyone. That's no. <laughs> Stop it. Uh, uh, I think I would go with. Uh, oh. What are their what are their names? Uh Leafa? No, no, surprisingly no. <laughs> uh Lizzie. no G Gamma one and two. Mm -hmm. And I think I would add them to cinema. I, I think it would be Or even if they were like Gamma one with Gamma two in his B twos, kinda like how uh eighteen and seventeen have the uh have, or how seventeen has eighteen show up in his old. Yeah. Uh um... um... I think I think they would be fun. Uh, it would give Cinema someone else to play around with an Android, so they don't have to, so they can play around with the Android mechanics as well. In that same uh -huh. token, I probably would say Cell Max, but add it as a Kaiju form for like Perfect Cell, or like he can either go perf, like give them like a branching avenue where it's either semi Perfect Cell. Or you can go into the branches of, you know, Perfect Cell and Super Perfect. Or you go into Cell Max. Gloom, what kind of fucking gloom Pokemon shit is this with the evolution tree? <laughs> <laughs> listen, listen, it happens. Think about it. It's already in there. Base form uh, and Vegeta and Goku, they can either go Super Saiyan or they can go straight into Fusion. They have three, they have okay, literally true. three branches. If once they go to Super Saiyan, they cannot fuse. I think maybe they can probably still do the fusion dance maybe well, but, well if yeah i think if one of them's still in base or they, they no I, they, I, yeah I, they I, have I to be it. no they the, whoever's doing it they have to be in base so they can't be in super saiyan and still do it so yeah it's already yeah. there so yeah no nah, i would add in cell max and by that same <laughs> token you were adding <laughs> gamma one and two oh uh, but sorry go ahead what were you about to mention anyone else for me, for me, honestly, it'd just be like said, like Chaos said, like Game One and Two. I, I kind of love those characters, and I would love to see them in there. But I was like, I always worry about the androids being super strong with them, you know. And um, uh, what was it? Um, the any same man, you know, the same man with sword trunks, same man would be really cool to have. Um, some like maybe some kid kid uh, characters for the Rugrats would be cool to have as well for them, like to increase their. Uh, Master list would be nice for them because they're obviously a stock right now of a small master list. Um, Namek maybe with the orange piccolo. Um, just the characters out there I think it would be cool to have. The super Dragon Ball like heroes, I would definitely say there's like apparently like the Great Saiyan Man number three, which is basically Sword Trunks or Great Saiyan Man go four. For like four Saiyan yeah. Man on there. Yeah, it does. Great Saiyan Man four is literally the um, the quote unquote main character, the OC character and everything like that. His name is B and he's a kid and everything. So that would add be added to like Rugrats, Sentai, hybrids. <laughs> like I would love like for that. Or like they even have like Super Saiyan 4 Vegito in there. Or uh and other like fusion combinations like with baby I think they have baby Veg baby Janimba. Like they have different like crazy combinations like that. I would love it. Back Heroes was a mistake. No, no, it's never a mistake. They got Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta in there too. I said what I said. I will also, bro, Rage of West 2 had uh, Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta. I would love that. And I think that was before Heroes actually came out. Yeah, there we go. That's the only one that I'll probably say. <laughs> Modded character. Yeah. Yeah, so that that's the that's the 72 characters that we would add if we could yeah, add anyone. Yeah. I can go on. <laughs> I know. So let, let, let's just cut it off here. <laughs> um, on to our last set of questions from uh, Brenda. 
Uh, first question. Outside of Frost, we've had a lot of changes for the 2024 season. Patars with changed costs, such as UDW, Halo, and Demon Seal, new costume and Beast Gohan, buffed exquisite skill, Ultra Ego on the Boost Store, and plenty of new maps for not only events, but also the Boost Store. Which one of those are you looking forward to seeing in the main league the most? Uh, I would say Frost. Oh, you said outside Frost. Uh, uh, I don't know. It's always interesting to see new maps <laughs> fought on. You got him, Brenda. <laughs> now, I would probably say, for me, maybe the maps. I always enjoy the maps. Um, new maps and everything. I just, like, just wherever I'm fighting and everything, if it's, what is it, visually pleasing to me, or I just like it in some way, I'm fine with that. So that's, like, one of the main things that I'm excited to see. Hopefully people use the, um, the boots for the multiversal. Uh, map that recently just got be uh, got put in, I think. So that would be great to see as well. I was gonna echo that with the with the new boost map or something. And I would love to see that being used a little more often in the league, you know. So definitely cool to see that. You know, that'd be into that in the league. Um, we love to see UDW, you know, being used a little more obviously because UDW is underrated. And that was three, and they definitely use it could be used more often. Now with a lot more combinations, so it should be really cool to have. But I don't think he went a lot of people testing it really, so kind of sad about that. <laughs> and also, Dragon Beat and stuff is also a cool thing to have, but don't use that either. So, <laughs> um, then second question, uh. Also, are you guys disappointed that Tapion Hero uh, wasn't picked up when he got such a sick set of new themed costumes? Uh, yeah, I talked about it a little bit it, it, in the last thing. I was, I was a little disappointed that, that I like seeing Tapion in general. So new costumes or not, I was a little disappointed to see him riding the bench. Yeah, I wouldn't say I was disappointed in turn because of the costume. It's just I'm kind of just disappointed because he is a high tier character, or he can be, and just wasn't picked up which is very odd to me so that's the uh, only reason why I'm more so oh gosh like that Spamion didn't get picked up I mean so you did really well it does really well recently so I wouldn't pick him up and want him but I guess we're gonna do a pool so it's fine so it's up to them so can't really can't really argue about it I mean I kind of wish that we got add like edit to, like to the boost story you know I mean or something I don't know like if they wanted to have him, but can't do that obviously, so. And the last question from Brenda. Uh, give us some insight, if you dare, on potential changes that will be studied throughout the season of 2024 for 2025. Anything more concrete that can be revealed or is everything just gonna be more like, let's wait and see? Um, honestly, it's gonna be kind of just, let's wait and see because we've made a lot of changes this season. Mm -hmm. Um. So we want to kind of see how some of those settle in. Um, with all the boosts, we've added a whole new character. Um, we've made some tweaks, like to Jiren and that type of stuff. So there's you don't want to you don't want to make too many changes and not see the results, and then just keep building on top. Because if if you if you fuck up on the bottom, then the whole tower goes down. Yep. Uh, so yes so yeah it's definitely going to be a let's wait and see kind of deal but y'all don't most of the times if we have something that we need to talk about or that we want to change we bring it up to y'all like not too long after it's not like too long unless it's like depending on how big of a change it is <laughs> so some stuff in the works but we never like to put it most time we just wait and see always like we gotta adjust stuff, you know, we always have to say and wait to adjust certain stuff, like if stuff is overpowered or like underpowered, then we gotta a little bit tune in a little bit here and there, you know, to make sure then everything on the league perfectly, you know, bounces as much as possible before we move on to the next step, so. Alright. And then, uh, Tosh, I believe you have a question from YouTube. Yep, and this question is from Fano6. Um, he said, if Sparking Zero cuts a lot of characters, you won't jump ship, will you? Um, he's basically, he would much rather stay on BT3's huge roster. Um, 
I don't ends on yeah. what this game has. <laughs> I don't think that like, they're going to cut a whole bunch of characters either, though. So I don't think that will be an issue. Well, so it, it really the ones at risk are really the Dragon Ball era characters and the GT characters. Yeah. I think those are the two most at risk and possibly some of the movies characters. Um, but we've said it before and I just I, I want to I want to reiterate it one more time even if Sparking Zero has everything we want and it is a perfect crossover you know jump to the next game it's still gonna take a while for us to make that swap because we have to test to make sure that stuff is balanced we have to figure out teams then we have to not only test all that shit to make sure it works one make sure we can stream it well without our computers dying uh sure then it's a matter it. of yeah testing. yeah it, <laughs> yeah modding it testing it then it's just a whole matter of will we have testers that can have the game because bt3 is easy because it's it's all online so it's all free while sparking zero you're you're having to shell out minimum 60 dollars for the base game if DLC comes out, they gotta buy that. So it's it's not just staff having to buy that, it's the testers have to have it, any of the commentators that stream have to have it. It's it's a lot of moving parts. Yep. So if it I, I, it definitely wouldn't be an abandoned ship, it would be a slow sink into the next <laughs> game. Like yeah, like like there there is there's a lot. Everything will have to go perfectly, like and at a normal like a really good rate for us if we decide, hey, all right, everyone bought the game, everyone's getting the DLCs, we can get testing done quickly. Then yeah, that but the chances of that happening, everything like going perfectly and people have enough time to do it, I don't I don't see that happening. <laughs> So yeah, it's probably going to be a slow burn, like Kaya said. Uh, enemy, you got anything you want to add to that, or...? No. <laughs> oh, okay, there you go. Uh, then with that, I believe that concludes this episode of the Dragcast. Tosh, uh, anything you want to... Any last second announcements before we wrap up? No, no last. I don't believe we have any announcements that we really need to put out outside of. Well, well, besides, uh, what is it? Just the Kai's, um, I think, what is it? The first builds for the next Kai stuff is going to be due in, I think it's the 2nd of May. I uh, I believe that so because, uh, Dragon Trials are the 4th. Yeah, so then. It, it's most likely going to be the 2nd of May and everything, and then outside of that, just double check. Oh, thank you, Kyle. <laughs> we do need to make an announcement in terms of we're looking for more volunteers. Um, so we recently, we need some more graphics people and, and all um, as of right now. So as we're going to the main season, we're going to be looking out for you know, either our thumbnails, different events that's going on and such. So if you have any, like, you know, knowledge in making graphics or you just want to help the league out, it'll be greatly appreciated. And you can reach out to myself, Kyle, or Enemy, or anyone on the DBZL staff. So if you come over to our Discord and join us, you should see a category for Dragon Ball Z League staff. And you can message one of us in there or typically just go to, like, the DBZL announcements thread or um channel and you'll see basically us and staff are the only ones that post in there so you can get the contacts in there it'll be greatly appreciated we'll take any help that we can get on there and we look forward to that um uh, outside of that i think on that note uh thank you all everyone for listening uh looking forward to the start of the main season i don't know if we'll get a z cast out before the start of the preseason maybe we'll do one after and see yes. how things are going then <laughs> yep mm -hmm. um but no thank, thank you all for joining and uh looking forward to the start of the next season 
yeah make sure that y'all um going through my own spell like commentators make sure you follow us on our youtube our um twitch we actually dual stream on there now so make sure you follow us on both of those um you can follow us on our twitter also known as x and tiktok so with all that make sure you just like the video and you know share it around and everything we love working with the community and we're hoping to grow this even more so so we thank all of our volunteers and you know people that just make this possible and keep watching us so yeah appreciate y'all and hope y'all have a great day see ya bye, bye.